All right, so you're probably watching this video because you're thinking about replacing your old faithful shop vac with something from Festool because you want a bit better product. So I will tell you right now, do not get rid of your shop vac, no matter how badly you treat it. This is the way it lives in my place. It's got one wheel torn off. It's covered in grease. I can't come inside the house. So let's go take a look at a, a job I'm doing inside where I thought maybe the Festool would be a good idea. So let's pop in here. So I'm doing a little bathroom renovation here. So, I like to turn on in here. So basically I'm just kind of ripping up the, uh, the subfloor to the tile, not the main subfloor. The bathroom here. Previous owners had a bit of a moisture problem. And the drywall wasn't done very well. All of the uh, seams have popped, so I had to rip out all the tape in the midst of retaping and skimming out the room. But anyway, so got a bit of trash here we gotta clean up. So it's a lot of work if you're gonna use a fest tool. Well, for one, you gotta separate the big junk, put it in a bag or put it in a pail or whatever you're gonna do. But this attachment kit that they sell. It's an absolute joke. Don't buy it. Even this hose, it's, unless you're vacuuming up dust, it's pretty much garbage as well. So, first thing you're going to do after you clean up the big chunks in here, sift through everything. Anything that can fit through there can go in the vacuum. So, Festool has not paid me to do this video. Paid for this with my own money. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible design. We'll do a bit of vacuuming and uh, I'll help you understand why it's so bad. Oh no, we're already plugged up. got jammed up in this little freaking one inch hole. <laughs> what kind of idiot would come up with this? I don't have a very big thumb. It barely fits in there. If you have bottle caps in your house, be warned. This <laughs> You can't even suck a bo bottle cap up. You got drywall screws. What's happened to me is sometimes the drywall screws make it to about here. Then they get jammed in sideways. Like you can't really see it very well, but I've actually got puncture holes in this hose trying to get the drywall screws out of there to be jammed in sideways. So you can, sometimes you might be able to suck it up so you get a whole column of dirt trapped in here and you gotta shake it all out, figure it out. And then if you're lucky, it gets jammed here. If you're sort of lucky, it gets jammed in here. Of course, if you have like, tiny hands, you can reach in there and pull this up when it's still sucking. You can see, the, maybe you can't, the vacuum is probably only a quarter full. So you'll have to shake this once in a while, get it to unlock in there. And again, if it gets stuck in the hose, you're really in trouble. So, I don't know, like they can pitch this crap as much as they want, but this hose is only good for like if you're attaching it to a sander and you're vacuuming up dust, or if you're, I don't know, sucking up dust bunnies or something. So this vacuum lives inside the house to keep it relatively clean, and we use it to clean the house. It's a terrible shop vac, and I guess that's all I really have to say. Thanks.